Hi everybody and welcome to Podfinity. My name is Wesley Vanitou and in this lesson I will show you how to create an efficient and non-memory taxing Fresnel node. So as you know in Blender we can control the Fresnel effects, how the light behaves at the grazing angle of, of the object with this node. But the problem is uh, we don't have a really nice control on it. We can only influence the index of refraction but we don't have control on the intensity of, uh, of the Fresnel and the specular effects. You can find really good solution out there, uh, especially the well thought Syndicate Pro one. But what I wanted to do is uh, to create a, a custom Fresnel without having to redo the math behind it and make it uh, really lightweight. So let me show you how this one works. As you can see, we have three slots. So the first one is to control the Fresnel. The second one is for the intensity. And the third one, control the specular effect. And let me show you how to build this is really, really simple. As you can see, we only have four nodes and uh, that's the secret of it, is to be able to understand uh, what is available to us in Blender and use it in the proper way to create the effect we want. And in this case, the layer weight is going to be the only uh, master node that allows us to create the, the custom for now. So let me rebuild this to show you how it works. First, I'm going to create a layer weight mode uh, node. And what I need to do is to add the Fresnel effect on top of the specular. So for that, I'm going to need a mix RGB node and put it to hard mode. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the Fresnel into the second slot and I'm going to keep it, uh, the first one in absolute black because this node, uh, this slot is going to be the, uh, the specular effect. So let me plug it to show you. So if I decrease the final effect, I have this. And by increasing this lot, as you can see, I bring back the specular. And with this two one, uh, we already have uh, the, the effect we want, but we need to do some refinement because as you can see, uh, even if I put it in black, it doesn't go absolutely, absolutely, absolutely black in the front. So we have to use the facing slot as a mix factor to be able to first uh, put a, an absolute black uh, at the facing of the object. And second, bring back the intensity of the Fresnel because by mixing with the mix RGB, as you can see, we lose intensity. So for that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a math node here and put it into divide because uh, what I need to do, I need to divide the facing slot by the value of the blend here. So let me show you that. Let me create a value node so uh, I don't have to put it uh, twice. I'm going to start with 0.2 and put it here and here. And if I plug it, excuse me, plug it here right now, as you can see now, we have when the specular is at zero, an absolute black here. And we bring back the, the intensity of the Fresnel. Let me show you, as you can see. So if I put it, so we bring back the exact property of the Fresnel and now we can increase the specular to have the, uh, the specular effect bring back. So as you can see, this is it. It is really, really simple. So now uh, what we're going to do, we're going to create a group node to, to make that proper. So let me group that. So I'm going to put 
the blend factor here and replug it here. And what I'm going to do for, uh, for, for, for the specular, I'm going to create a, a value slot and plug it directly here because I want it to go from zero to one. So from black to white. So for that, let me uh, remove that I plug another one. And replug this and plug this here. So now I have the blend factor I can put to zero. And to have a better control on, on the intensity of the Fresnel, I'm going to uh, need another matte node. So let me duplicate this one and I'm going to change it to multiply. So what I need to do right now, uh, I want the intensity of the Fresnel uh, go from zero to two. So I need to find a node that allows me to, to block the value after two, because in this one, I can increase in, indefinitely. And at some point, it's not going to result a realistic Fresnel. So for that, what I'm going to use, I'm going to use the U and uh, saturation node because on the saturation slot uh, is it goes from zero to two. So let me put it to zero and plug it and remove it. And now I can plug the Fresnel here and plug it here. And I'm going to plug the specular here. So let me bring it on top. And then you have it. I just have to rename this properly. I'm going to rename it intensity. Oops. Intensity, this one for now. And this one, specular. And as you can see, this is it. Oh, another thing, uh, I want a value node here too. So just plug it here and here. So now it's only value everywhere. So if I plug it right now and I increase the intensity, I have the Fresnel effects, I can increase it, increase it to two, as you can see, and the specular. So uh, another thing, as you see here, I have a normal slot. Is uh, it, it allows you to to put uh, to plug a normal map uh, in it. I don't use it. I prefer to have. Um, a pure value Fresnel, uh, Fresnel and if I have to create a normal map, uh, especially uh, on a glossy shader, for example, I'm going to, I'm going to plug it directly into, into the glossy, not into the, the Fresnel node. I, I want to use it uh, only as a mix factor. So let me put that in, uh, in, in practice. Let me create a base mix shader here. So a diffuse and glossy, I'm going to plug that. I'm going to put that to 0 0.5, for example. Let me put it in absolute, absolute black. So now, if I plug it, as you can see, I can control. Let me put the specular to 0. Now I can increase the intensity of the Fresnel, decrease it, decrease the Fresnel effect, and increase the intensity, the, the specular. So this is it, people. It's really efficient. It works really well. It's really, really lightweight, and that's the the big advantage of this node. It it doesn't eat your 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 GPU, especially on a heavy scene. So I highly encourage you to uh, to use it. 
But first, uh, before you use it, uh, watch the, this video once, twice, and try to recreate it yourself to understand the principle. And after that, uh, uh, I, you can use it directly once you understand. So another thing, when you create a node, uh, always uh, name it properly to be able to know exactly what it does, like I did here. So on this one, I keep the normal map. Let me remove it. And this is it. This is your custom Fresnel node. So you'll be able to download it for free on the on the Penfinity Gum Road. But as I said, take the time to study it and try to recreate it. And after that, you, uh, you can use it on your project. So I, can went, I, I can't wait to see what you, you're going to produce with it. So uh, don't hesitate to follow us on facebook.com slash penfinity. You can subscribe to the newsletter on uh, penfinity.com to have the latest news and updates, tips and tricks and new course coming soon. So I hope you enjoy it and uh, see you soon.